I'm pretty hungry and I'm pretty short, so why not go for some low-hanging fruit here? I just need to talk about the CW network for a bit. They can't even accidentally produce something watchable. Every show they have makes me wish television was never invented in the first place. I understand everyone and their mother makes fun of the CW network, but they just put out their newest trailer for their show, Gotham Knights, which is coming out pretty soon. It has nothing to do with the Gotham Knights game that's right around the corner. They're entirely different from one another. And it is bafflingly awful. It is the exact same formula as every other show CW makes and then cancels. Batman's dead and some teenagers have to take over and fight crime in his absence. But these teenagers are mopey and sometimes zany. It's such a unique dynamic, the characters are immaculate. I don't really get why they keep making superhero shows. They clearly don't like them. They basically write a high school drama with a superhero skin on it. It's, it's very clear that the CW writers are deep in their 60s, maybe early 70s, but still writing shows for 14-year-old girls. I'm honestly surprised that there wasn't dabbing and flossing in the Gotham Knights trailer. This shit is dreadfully out of touch. It's very obvious that they don't read comic books, they don't watch other superhero media, and yet they still try and make superhero shows because they have the DC license. Which is an absolute sin. That's an affront to God that CW is allowed to make shows like this. And they keep recycling the same formula. Batman's dead, here's some teenagers instead. Why? Why do they keep doing it? Why do we keep letting them get away with it? It's so bad. And they also don't have a budget to make the superhero shows look good visually. In fact, who remembers this Supergirl clip that went viral two years ago showcasing how awful their CGI was? I swear to God, stick figure animations look better. When the ones you love turn their back on you, that's pain. But you'll see when you suffer the way you made me suffer. You can't touch me without hurting yourself. That's why he brought me. I made a whole video on this before, but I really just can't get over how bad it is. It actually does look like a child playing with action figures, and the writing is so abominable. You have Piccolo here, the villain, delivering what's supposed to be a villain monologue, but it just sounds like some emo shit a 13-year-old would be writing in their journal. Mommy and Daddy didn't let me get a cookie from the cookie jar. That's pain. We came prepared. You can't incept any of us now. Don't be so sure. Agent Blake? John, now! And this is an example of their good CGI. This is like half of the season's budget into this one minute clip. This was a promo piece for Supergirl. They were patting themselves on the ass and saying good game for the work they put into this one. This is the level of CGI that the CW Network works with. So why do you give them superhero shows when they clearly can't handle it visually? It just doesn't make any sense, and I know there's so much copium from CW fans like, Oh, The Flash is good, Green Arrow was great, you know, these shows used to be amazing. I fucking went back and watched them, they're not. They're just not. Like, yes, I will agree they're marginally better than the garbage they try and put out there now, whatever they're vomiting up with Gotham Knights, but they're still not good. Just stop letting CW make superhero shows, it's super embarrassing. But some of them are entertainingly bad. So, Tiana watches pretty much every CW show ever made, so I've seen a lot of them. And god damn it, they are so bad they're good in certain instances, and I hate to admit it. But they are like a guilty pleasure sometimes <laughs> with how silly they are, so I can appreciate that. But their superhero ones are almost no fun. I I've tried to watch Batwoman, I tried to watch Supergirl because I thought they would be fun bad, they're not. They're just really boring and hard to watch. And I'm going to show a little bit of Gotham Knights because I get the same vibe here that it's going to be boring bad and no fun. And I, I honestly think it's for the better of all of humanity if Warner Bros. just revokes the license CW has to the DC property. Just just cut them off. You know, it's time to stop breastfeeding them. Let them grow up and make, make other shows that aren't superhero adjacent. There are 30 other rooms in this place to hook up. Mom, I swear we were just talking. Thanks. Harry, we have a trick together? Right, sorry. Everybody relax. I got this. Harvey. Turner, it's your father. He's dead. Hey, what's up, Junior? Oh, nice party you're having. Dad's dead. 
Hey, are they doing keg stands? Ex get out of my way, nerd. What, you crying? Fucking tough, toughen up. Rub some dirt in it. I have to ask you. Did you know he was Batman? You don't have to keep the secret any longer. It must be a relief. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Relief. I'm really hoping this shot here isn't of the Batman. Because this just looks like a trick-or-treater in a Halloween costume, but even less effort. It's like the Batman cowl in a normal suit. <laughs> you can already tell that the focal point of this show is going to be a high school drama where it's like, I'm getting bullied because my dad was Batman. And now I'm sad about it. I don't like to get bullied. But then it'll sprinkle in a little bit of the Gotham Knight action, which you're about to see. And my God, chef's kisses, it looks amazing. We have three suspects in custody. Press your fingerprints on the gun that killed Bruce Wayne. That's not what happened. We were paid to break into his office, not kill him. It's like a museum had sex with a bank vault. Yep, Batman was finally thwarted. Not by Bane, the Penguin, Joker, Riddler, or any of the super-powered fucking villains that he fought in his time. He was beaten by three goofy goober snot-nosed kids. Damn, they're good. Oh, Bruce. So unbelievably silly to think that Batman, one of the most beloved heroes in all of comic books, who's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with pretty much every villain imaginable, despite not having any real superpowers of his own, was somehow beaten by three kids who left Warped Tour early. This would be like if CW greenlit a show that's all about the death of Superman, like Superman's finally been killed. And he went straight to hell. He's not coming back. Superman's dead for good. But luckily we caught the killer. And he's about to stand trial. And then they wheel in the killer. Like Hannibal Lecter. It's like a four year old strapped to a table with a muzzle over him. How did they kill? How did he kill Superman? He turned his apple juice box into a Molotov cocktail. Hon honestly sounds like a storyline CW might greenlight. So don't steal it CW. It's copyrighted. Because I came up with it. So you, don't, you can't use it. There's one more suspect. They think I killed my dad because I wanted his money? Hey. He's in on it. They all are. You just made my job easier. Probably as little Robin. Yeah, now you're just making Batman seem creepy. He called you his little Robin? That's super weird. What, were you supposed to call him daddy or something? Like, that's just such a weird dynamic. Why say that? They're making it almost seem like a good thing Batman's dead because he was a fucking perv. <laughs> like, it's just weird. There's one thing they don't have. A bat cave. Oh my god. There's one thing they don't have. A good network. I don't understand. I, like, watching this, I just don't get it. If this didn't have, like, character names attached to it, like, from the comic books, you would have no idea this is supposed to be somehow a Batman-related show. It has nothing in common with it. What is the point? So, the kid teams up with the suspects because they say they're innocent. They form the Gotham Knights to figure out who killed Batman and clear their names or whatever. One of them is the Joker's daughter. It's just impossible to expect anything good from it. This is a show that's not made for fans of the comics, or the universe, or anything. So why make it? Why, why set it in that universe? Why not make this exact same show and have it do nothing with Batman or any of those characters? It'd be a lot better received. Like, this just isolates, or alienates, sorry, the CW fans that love shows like Charmed or Supernatural or something, because they probably don't like Batman, and it also doesn't allow any wiggle room to have comic book fans come into it and be excited because it has nothing to do with the comics it, it just looks terrible it's just so what is the point why slap anything related to dc on this show you just immediately set it up for failure i just can't wrap my head around why they keep doing this this is also a pretty much identical plot to the last cw show they canceled with batman being dead and all that there's just no reason to keep doing it and yet they do I find it so fascinating, just so wildly interesting, that the network continues to pump out these little pieces of shit, even though every time they do, it's overwhelmingly negatively received, has poor viewership, and they end up canceling them after a season, or maybe if they're lucky, two seasons. Why keep making them? I don't get it. There must be some kind of like conspiracy theory behind it that I'm just not familiar with. 
It makes no sense to me. But god damn it, I have to admit it is fun to laugh at from the sidelines. That's about it. See ya.